Hi, this is a short example on how to use extreme value theory in QuantLab. Uh, and we're going to analyze some stocks uh, of the OMX S30, uh, the Swedish stock index. So what do we have and where do we start? We start with all the equities and we take 2000 days of historical data and we will assume a confidence level to estimate a VAR number of 99%. Uh, so that means one day out of 100, uh, the limit of a, uh, the loss will be uh, the percentage shown in the daily VAR. So, and we're going to have one day steps. So let's look at, at one particular stock. We, uh, and then we see the d daily uh, differences and we see uh, uh, the stock market uh, expect, uh, quotes. And we can now see from uh, that we have a maximum loss of 10% and uh, about 10% uh, up uh, at the best given date. Uh, and we can see that from, assuming a normal distribution, we would then estimate a, a 1 out of 100 day uh, VAR to be 4%. Uh, but using a, a tail measure like the generalized Pareto distribution, uh, we can use the so-called POT method, the peaks over threshold, and estimate uh, uh, only uh, the tail events and um, fit a distribution to this and, say, and estimate what would the level be given this distribution. And we can see that uh, the difference between the extreme value VAR at one, one day out of 100 uh, compared to the normal VAR uh, is a bit larger. And we can see that we have a much larger uh, discrepancy between the normal distribution and the tail distribution for this one. So we can see that this is the fingerprint stock. Uh, and we can see that it's from the QQ plot that it's not at all normally distributed, these returns. Uh, and then we can see for some other stocks, we can see we have uh, the, the Swedish SSAB, that's the steel stock. And we can see uh, also that we have some fairly large uh, 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 tail uh, events that will uh, estimate the uh, extreme value VAR on a 99% uh, quantile to 8.5% instead of 6. And what happens if we go even further out? So this was one day out of 100. So let's say we take one day out of 1,000 instead, which means that we're about one, one day in five years event, which would perhaps be a adequate stress level, extreme level for a stress test. And then we can see uh, where the extreme value theory now really pays off. So at this level, we would, if we would have assumed normal distribution, we would have said 15% down one day out in five years uh, for fingerprint. But uh, the extreme value theory would say 42%. Uh, which is more uh, obviously likely as we can see that the max loss has been 50% down in one given day. So we can see for all the different uh, stocks in the, in the Swedish majors um, that uh, levels to do extreme stresses, uh, the extreme value theory would fit quite nice into this uh, as these levels are, are uh, estimated from the actual tail events. And, and uh, you can actually have estimations that are larger than the largest uh, uh, actual events. So for here, for the steel stock, we can see that the maximum loss has been 11.8%, but the extreme value theory would say that one, one day out of five years that we could expect a loss beyond 14.5%. Uh, given this uh, tail data. Uh, so this has been an example of, of extreme value theory and how you can use this to estimate uh, stress losses uh, for extreme events using the tail uh, of the data uh, and do a fit uh, in QuantLab.
Thank you very much.